Hello, Junior Rangers. I'm park naturalist Winter, and to go along with our topic of animal evidence, today we're going to read a story called Been There, Done That, Reading Animal Signs, written by Jen Funk Weber, illustrated by Andrea Gabriel, and published by Adorable Publishing. Okay, Helena, said Cole, where are your wild animals? I go home tomorrow and all I've seen are magpies and gray jays. Where are the bears and moose? They're out there, said Helena. Helena and Cole continued on the trail. They wove through willows. The bark was stripped off at waist height. Something had been there. Something had done that. There are snowshoe hares around here, Helena said. Cole didn't see any hares. Months before, when the snow was deep, snowshoe hares nibbled the bark within their reach. Junior Rangers, what color is the hare? What is the word that describes when an animal blends into its environment? This snowshoe hare is camouflaging into the winter white habitat. Helena and Cole hiked to a silty green river. Ew, Cole wrinkled his nose, dead fish. Helena picked up a long black feather. She traced over wingtips outlined in the sand. Something had been there. Something had done that. Eagles catch salmon here. Cole didn't see any eagles. Earlier that day, an eagle snatched a dying salmon from the water. It hauled the fish up to the beach and ate it. Junior Rangers, what is the eagle using to hold on to the fish? All birds of prey have sharp hooked claws called talons. Helena and Cole followed the trail to a sparkling green lake. Helena pointed to cottonwood trunks that looked like apple cores. Something had been there. Something had done that. Beavers live in that lodge. Cole didn't see any beavers. That evening after the kids left, a beaver crawled out of the lake for a cottonwood snack. Junior Rangers, Cottonwoods are huge shade trees that grow along wet riverbanks and provide ideal material for a beaver to make its dam. Helena and Cole strolled through a field. Helena sat down in a big oval where the tall grass was smashed flat. Something had been there. Something had done that. A moose took a nap here. Cole didn't see any moose. The day before, a moose waded in the lake, eating sedges from the bottom. Then it lay down in the meadow and snoozed in the sun. Junior Rangers, did you know that sedges are a type of plant that grow in moist areas and moose are herbivores who feed only on vegetation? Helena and Cole climbed up a hillside. Helena skipped between little round holes, stopping short at a giant one. Something had been there. Something had done that. A bear tried to dig out a ground squirrel. Cole didn't see any bears. Junior Ranger, do you know what is the symbol of California? Early that morning, a grizzly bear raced after a ground squirrel. The squirrel dove into the nearest hole and zipped through underground tunnels. 
The grizzly dug and dug, but never found the ground squirrel. Climbing over the mountain ridge, Helena and Cole discovered a patch of snow on the north side. So much for all the wild animals, said Cole. They're here, Helena assured him. We just can't see them. Cole packed snowballs and Helena made tiny snowmen until a whole herd of snowmen greeted the setting sun. We'd better head home, said Helena. That night, as the sun crept along the horizon, a red fox trotted over the mountain. It sniffed strange snow statues and tracks. Something had been there. Something had done that. I hope you enjoyed reading Been There, Done That, Junior Rangers, and I hope we'll see you at Crystal Cove State Park.